34-24 is the final at SoFi Stadium and the Rams. They have snapped the NFL's longest winning streak. Well, I appreciate you. A good football team doesn't lose two in a row. But you got great leadership, and, uh, and we had we have great leadership on this football team. They came in hungry. I didn't have to say much. You know, when you join a team, it's it's not an individual sport. It's how can we collectively inspire each other, motivate each other, uh, push each other to limits, so that we can be prepared for whatever adversities we're going to face. Early in his days in New England, Tom Brady was at this same juncture a Super Bowl champion dealing with its first setback. We get a little full of ourselves in 2002. We don't make the playoffs. 2003, everything is sort of just reset. And so the edge word, the edger word, and then I think that's where it originated from. Out of adversity, a group of Patriots, including Rodney Harrison, Teddy Bruschi, Willie McGinnis, and Brady, among others, reset the mental edge of the team. They loosely called themselves edgers. What is an edger? One who out prepares you in every single way. Nutrition, hydration, condition, film study, practice, after practice, massage, treatment, everything. And we go down the list over and over again. And we're doing it more than you. All right, Mikey, let's do it, baby. Always giving each other a hard time about you're not doing enough, I'm doing more. I had so many great teammates over the years that I could name every single one that you know really pushed me to grow up, to you know dig deeper, to push harder, to work harder, to start earlier, to stay later, you know, in order for us to get better than what our competition was doing. The edgers. Yeah, that's what it was about. We would give Brady a hard time too when we'd see him leaving or something like that. You got to be mentally right. Most quarterbacks, you know, they have their boys. You know, a couple of receivers, their go-to guys. That wasn't the way he operated. He would sit with the defensive linemen. He would sit with the linebackers. He would sit with the DBs because he wasn't just about those few guys that caught the most passes that he was throwing it to. He was about being a leader of the team. Brady adopted the ethic. Yeah, there was definitely a business to football, and there is a business to football, but, you know, for us, as a team, there was more of a personality and culture and closeness than some other examples of that in different places. I'm curious, when you went to Tampa, like, are you able to even, do you tell them about Edgers? You know, those were for a great moment in time for me. And what, you know, I took from that group of guys and that those teams in the early 2000s with the Patriots, I try to take those things in. And in my own way, I try to push people different ways. You know, I, you know sometimes it's with the carrot, sometimes it's with the stick. That stick doesn't have to come out on the sidelines of a Sunday game. Brady's edge lasts year round, as it did during a simple off-season activity earlier this year. So two minute is Tom's baby. And if you mess up with two minute, he loses his mind. We showed up for mini camp. We did one two minute drill and uh, didn't run a great route. And <laughs> yeah, he cursed me off the field. Those situations are, are the situations that win and lose ball game. And after last Sunday's loss to the Rams, Brady again sent out a text to remind the Bucks to keep their edge. He fired off a couple texts on Sunday after the loss to the Rams, uh, just really encouraging stuff. Only a man who knows what it is like to be defeated can reach down to the bottom of his soul and come up with the extra ounce of power it takes to win when the match is even. Muhammad Ali. You gotta find the right balance as a leader in those things. You gotta care about your teammates. You know, you gotta care about the success of the team. 